supposed to just stand together. So we're researching this. And we have these lovely animals here, so an eagle, and in the children's book, there's also a fish. These are all animals that are affected by DDT. One of the ways that DDT affects them is that it interferes with how their hormones signal. Right? So there's a gene that some of them have. I'm just going to draw it as an arrow here. This is a gene for an estrogen receptor. It's a protein in those animals that is responsible for responding to hormones. And the way it does that is it turns on or off other genes. Right? So what we do is we basically just take the gene from one of them, one that's particularly affected, it's a fish known as rainbow trout, and we take a gene from another organism, and again, there's like a whole catalog of these genes that you can find. And this is a gene for red fluorescent protein. I'm just going to abbreviate here RFP. And there's one last component here. We have to get this to work correctly. So what we want to have happen is when DDT is present, so when you have DDT, we're going to have this estrogen receptor. And when DDT is present, it will connect with the estrogen receptor, and it's going to shut off a gene. And so we needed an intermediate gene here, which we found, again, from some other organism. This is something that was a tet repressor. I'm not going to go into a lot of the details. But again, just giving you a flavor of the ideas that we would work with, right? You identify some interesting biology. Oh, these fish are affected by DDT. Let's take the gene that gets affected, string it together with other genes we find in the catalog, and get a predictable outcome. Right? Now when DDT is present, we'll get red fluorescent protein. And I'm happy to go through more details if you're curious. That's another well. lab. But just sort of an idea for like how this happens. And then in the lab, once you identify this, it's pretty straightforward in terms of how to take these different DNA pieces, fuse them all together, and then see how they work in the cell. So that's sort of the science part of it. But again, it's much larger than that. It's the human practices side, the wiki, the math modeling, the you know, graphic design, all of it. Cool. Well, if there's no other questions, I guess we can uh, 